we've heard winter's coming. Now, it's 90 degrees today, but it is going to be here. An ominous warning, and it tells us that experts are telling us, don't let your guard down when it comes to COVID. Dr. Nicholas Testa, Chief Medical Officer with Dignity Health Southern California, joins us now live. Good morning, Dr. Testa, and thank you for joining us. My pleasure. So, so it was about this time last year, you know, winter does seem to get here at the same time every yep. year. People kind of yep. let their guard down. We saw the spike. Also, people started getting out and about again. There was that element of it. Um, what about this year now that we have that vaccine? Is there still the same concern? Uh, still concern. It's different. So let's look at last winter. We had uh, just about 250,000 deaths between December, January and February in the United States. I don't expect we're going to see those kind of fatalities this year um, from COVID because, you know, 59 percent of the population is fully vaccinated. But that still leaves over 40 percent of the population unvaccinated, which makes us vulnerable. In addition, we have to remember last year we weren't dealing with the Delta variant, which is twice as contagious. So in summary, I, I think this year is going to be better, but we can't let our guard down. We still have to be cautious. Yeah, we, we certainly don't want to let the guard down. But another element of that I want to ask you, do, don't we have better treatment options as well? I mean, when this first started, we didn't know what we were dealing with. We meaning the medical community. We're better now, right? A little bit. Oh. Uh, no, I think we're significantly better at okay. treating COVID. Um, we've seen the mortalities drop in the hospitals. Now, it's a little bit difficult to tell if that drop is because we're getting better at treating patients because we understand the disease more or because the disease has now moved to infecting the younger population. Um, but regardless, still, the mortality rates that we're seeing for anybody with COVID, particularly if they're unvaccinated, is way higher than we want to see. And, and we're starting to get kids vaccinated as well. So that is a large group of uh, people who were unvaccinated before. But people need to understand it takes a little while before you're fully uh, protected after getting both shots of the vaccine. Tell, tell us a little bit about that for the kids. Absolutely. So, so uh, there is some protection after the, the first dose. So um, the studies have shown that you get about 50, 52% efficacy after the first dose, but you really only get to that 95% efficacy two weeks after your final dose. So, so we really encourage everyone, you got to complete the whole regimen and don't consider yourself fully vaccinated until two weeks after that final dose. And maybe this is a dumb question. Kids, even though they get a reduced amount, uh, they still get two shots as well? Correct, two okay. shots. Okay. Uh, and also, we're, we're starting to see people with flu season upon us asking the question online, can you do both shots at the same time, a COVID shot uh, and a flu shot? What are, what's the medical community recommending on that? Really good question, Phil. So right now, the recommendation is that you can get both at the same time at the same visit or in close proximity to each other. This did change. The initial CDC recommendation for uh, the COVID vaccine was that you separate it about two weeks from the, any other vaccine. They've uh, changed that as we've gotten more information. So that's what this has all been about. As we get more data, we change and evolve and, and improve. This year, it is very important that everyone gets their flu shot. Last year, we had almost no flu season. What we have seen before really bad flu seasons is the preceding flu season being relatively mild. So we are at risk for having a really bad flu season. This year. Well, and we also remember that last year, the precautions, protocols we were taking for COVID also kept us apart from each other, uh, spreading flu all around. Now, a quick question. Exactly. You, you need two COVID shots, but only one flu shot. Do you have a feeling whether one is better if I, my first COVID shot get the flu shot or my second, or does it matter? No, you get it when you can get it. Okay. So if you're in there and you're getting your, you're getting your first, your second, your booster, and they're offering a flu shot, get the flu shot too. Okay. Dr. Testa, thanks. It's always a pleasure to see you. It's always good to see you because for one thing, it's pleasant. Another thing, it means it's Friday. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. It's good to see you too. Okay. We'll, we'll, we will talk to you again. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh,